one. About 10 years ago, I was about five years old and me and my dad were arguing about something. And I don't remember what specifically it was, but it was probably something really stupid. And I got really, really mad about it. And um, I decided to kick something. So I kicked a hole in our wall at five years old. And you may be wondering how a five-year-old is strong enough to kick a hole in a wall. Well, I was also taking Taekwondo at the time, so I was a trained professional in kicking things. <laughs> My name is Andrew St. John, and uh, I have a brother, a mom and dad, and three pets. Um, I've lived most of my life in Cary, but um, for the other part of my life that I didn't live in Cary, I actually was born in South Korea, and I'm adopted from South Korea, and I was adopted probably when I was around like five and a half months years old. Months old. Um, speaking of South Korea, I like to travel, and I've been to Arizona, and I went down about halfway down the Grand Canyon, and it was really interesting to see like all the fossils on the side of the mountain and stuff, and it was really cool to go and walk right about halfway down it, but we decided to come back up because we didn't want to go all the way down there and spend the night down there. Um, I've also been to Nicaragua, and it was more of like a mission trip, and what we did is we dug like ditches so people could put pipes in so they could get water to their houses. And we also uh, sledded down the side of a volcano. Um, I've also been to Cambodia, and we visited this temple called Angkor Wat, and it was really cool to see like the architecture and how like all the archways were built before they had like technology and, well, I guess like the electronical devices to lift up all the cranes and stuff, so. Um, we also saw this really cool market that was on the water, and these girls with like these giant pythons like wrapped around their necks, and they were perfectly fine with it. <laughs> Um, I have a couple different hobbies that I like to do. I make knife handles, and what I'll do is I'll take a piece of wood, and I'll shape it, and um, I'll also like take this tool. Sometimes like burn a design in it, maybe, or like have a carving kit and like carve out something cool. But then somehow I'll attach it to the knife. And I also play soccer. What I um, in soccer I actually won Player of the Year last year for my team, and I did this high school team over this school year, I guess, and. We made it to states, but we didn't quite win states, unfortunately. Um, but I also scooter. I've been scootering for three and a half to four years. And I actually work at the skate park. And um, one thing that I have um, is I, the best part about scootering is watching people fall. So um, <laughs> I have this really great video of me face planting down a nine foot ramp, and it was a lot of fun. Um, I also have three pets, as I said before um, two cats and one dog. My dog's name is Sheila. She's an Australian cow dog. She's from the pound. And she is very protective, but she's not like most Australian cow dogs. Most Australian cow dogs will like bite you if they're like, if you like, you touch the tail or something. But Sheila is actually a nice Australian cow dog. So if you ever come over and see her, don't be scared of her. Um, and my two cats. Well, first cat, his um, name was Sasha, but he ran away and we've never seen him since. My, well, technically I have three cats, though. The second cat's <laughs> name is Stefan. He was, um, he's my Spanish teacher's cat. She gave him to us. He's named after Stefan Curry. Um, oh. He has run away twice. Um, the first time he was gone for about a week, and then we got this, like, trap, and we trapped him. And, like, it was, like, one of those ones with, like, with pressure plates on the floor, and we'd, like, put food at the end of the tunnel and, like, walked in and we trapped him. So then we got him back, and then he ran away for about a month, and my mom put food out on the porch and he just reappeared out of nowhere. And my other cat, his name is Tigre, and it stands for tiger in Spanish. And he he's interesting. He's like really small and he looks like a tiger. He acts like a tiger and he thinks he's a tiger. But he's not big enough to be a tiger. And he is really wild and actually if you see some of my Spanish homework, he ate it. So um, <laughs> it's all in shreds now. And yeah, so I have three pets. Um, I like to travel and I have many different hobbies and personally to me I think the most important one of all those three or three things is uh, Traveling because you get to meet new people learn about different cultures see new places, you know get to see the world and experience cool things Thank you for listening Great job